This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tempest. It's the new top-of-the-range bivvy from Tracker. There's only two of these available in the world at the moment. This is a pre-production prototype. It's going to be out early 2011 with a few small tweaks and modifications from this version. But fundamentally, what you see here is how it's going to be. Now, if you're anything like me, you were fallen in love with this the second you saw it. I've had this set up here for a few days now, and all the guys walking around, they all want one. This one is staying with me because there's something about it. The fact it looks so different from any other bivvy out there, it's got a low profile, rakish shape to it. It's unique, it's quick to put up, it's very strong, and it's very sturdy. Now, one of the key features about the Tempest that I love so much is that it's designed so that it's got a flat back, and that means you can get your bed chair right into the back of the bivvy against the back face, which means you don't put your gear behind the bed. It's designed so your gear goes at either end of the bed, which means that it's very accessible and easy to get to. Beach rooting around down there in the dark at the back of the bivvy. It also means that with your bed chair right at the back, you're really, really sheltered from any driving rain coming into the front. Without the door down, in fact, even without the front on, this front uh, porch gives you a lot of overhang and an awful lot of protection. Now, setting up the Tempest could not be easier. You take it out of the bag, and then you fan it out, and then the arms all interlock in similar way to uh, on an Armo, for example. There's an elastic thread running through the centre of the alley pole, and each one just assembles and locks together in turn. There's five or six of them as you go around, fan them out, and that brings you round to the block, which is the centrepiece of the construction. There's a pole that you pull over. No removable pieces to lose or anything to fiddle around with. You simply pull the pole over and lock it with this sliding collar, and then you're ready to go. The structure is assembled. All you need to do is peg it down. A couple of pegs in the back and two at the front, and really, unless the weather's quite bad, that's all you're going to need. So very, very quick, similar to the ultralight, but gives you a lot more coverage and a lot more protection. OK, now the Tempest comes with a full frontal system, which you can either use, as I've got it here, with mosquito mesh panels, vital when the weather's hot. If you're like me, you get absolutely hammered by mosquitoes, then this really is something I can't do without. So that goes on every night gives you plenty of airflow, you've got a good view of the lake from behind the mesh and you can sleep comfortably on top of your bag if it's hot. Now if the weather turns and you've got driving rain or even cold weather, then all of these panels will drop, which means that you can then have full protection right round the front, like so. There's also a clear window that goes in place over the door, so if you're sat on your bed chair and you want to see out, then you can do so with, from the comfort of inside the bivvy. Now what I do like to do, and I've done for the first few days of this trip, is during the days, or if it's cold, clear nights where you, you don't really need too much of a front, then I take everything off. And in the, in the UK, I tend to use this with no ground sheet and the front off. So I'll just show you the key points of this. There's a very nice system here on the storm poles. So first of all, we're going to remove these. If you just undo the top collar, look at that. No unscrewing. This simply locks into place using that top thumb screw. So we just take that off. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Very, very quick and easy conversion from the front to a totally open shelter. Now, if you've got your gear in the back of that, there's such a big overhang here that quite often you can fish it without the front on. That's what I do in the UK, certainly through the spring and summer. I'll ditch the ground sheet as well because I like to travel light, but the package comes together so that you can put everything into the most bulletproof shelter that you could possibly want or need. There's another nice feature on here which is the way the fabric is stitched here. This gives you a really really nice rain runoff gutter. Stops the rain from falling into your porch and in the front of your bivvy and if I just pour some of that there you'll see look at that, it channels down the side of the bivvy beautifully out and away. Just a little part of the little thought that's gone into the design of this now. Really excited about this bivvy. They're not going to get this one back. This is staying with me. I'm absolutely hooked on it. I'm going to be using this from now on. This is the Tempest.